everybody and welcome back to my channel today we're checking out the october 31st 30th depending on what time zone you are in naraka update there is a lot to go through including a new chest a new character and some spicy halloween content so let's get right into the update we got a brand new content coming on in uh with a new hero syra the chief divine healer the saint of dawn syra has widely considered a luna lunas run treasure yet her former glory and good name were lost replaced by biting criticism and cruel rumors uh, some named her a heretic others merely considered her insane she cared little sense the lights blinding rays would dazzle them so Syra is ready to do whatever it takes to entirely unwavering in her quest to champion the light dun, 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 dun. all right new casual mode yes 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 this is what I've been waiting for New casual mode, the new hungry dragons mode is now available. Use whatever means you have at your disposal to defeat your opponent and make your dragon the longest one. Oh, fun. I'm excited. Also, this image, the dragon looks really pretty. I love the Halloweens. You can queue this mode in solo or as a trio, but this mode is also a free for all with a maximum of 12 players. Earn points by collecting dragon orbs, um, XP items, defeating opponent, opponents, leveling up, and attacking opponents' tails. Attacking tails degrade the level and grant dragon scales. Um, EXP items improve EXP for leveling up and additional rage. Uh, reaching a higher level increases your maximum health and ultimate attack range. Um, Periodic AOE attacks will be triggered by mechanisms in the scene. Use jump or crouch to evade as appropriate. Winning conditions. Players are ranked based on their total score at the end of the match. Characters gain new powerful ultimate moves at level 9 and level 17. Hitting a mechanism in the battlefield with an ultimate move triggers resonance causing an AOE attack. Next, we have the season exclusive Aurora Treasure. <laughs> it's a mouthful. The Aurora Treasure is tri uh, priced at 360, which is pretty typical. Um, you will get a chance to get the ultimate extreme outfits. Cyrus extreme outfit or the fan extreme um, skin ca uh, called Koi Flow, which is pretty sweet. Getting another... Uh, uh, fan skin and while wearing wings of light, which is Cyrus new outfit There will be a shining wing effect when you defeat enemies while standing still and not in combat a special effect will trigger six wing splendor This effect cannot be imprinted and Equipping koi flow changes the special effect of quick dash horizontal strikes and soul jade soul shatter attacks um, f uh, flowing water and fish effect will appear while charging attacks. I like that it, like the fish like follow the fan and come back to you in the animation for it. Minimum guarantee. Players are all uh, guaranteed to receive at least one red every hundred treasures. Uh, yada yada. Legendary cosmetic. Uh, minimum guarantee within the first 25 treasures open. You are guaranteed to get either a hero outfit or weapon skin. Subsequently, within every 25 treasures open, you are guaranteed a, a legendary cosmetic that you have not unlocked. Oh, that's new. That's new. Guaranteed gold. Let's go. And you have to get an outfit or weapon, not like... A trinket or whatever that's pretty nice that's pretty nice this guarantee can be triggered up to 14 times which i'm assuming is as many cool this could possibly be in there so wishing a legendary reward if you draw an extreme cosmetic you can set a legendary cosmetic which is guaranteed in the subsequent one which is what we had already so you can guarantee which gold you get next yada 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 but you can only set one cosmetic each time you can't keep doing it and then there's aurora treasure 50 percent discount first 10 treasures you will buy will be a 50 percent discount that's nice Woo! i like that i like that i like the anti-dupes i like i like the guaranteed because yeah sometimes you're just really unlucky with the gold you know um limited time event we got aurora treasure with bonus star collection when opening aurora treasure there was a chance to receive an extreme outfit which is star autumn tail and legendary outfit star twilight when you open aurora treasure there's a chance to obtain then an additional reward the chance increases as you open more the maximum chance is 100 percent 
Chances for the two star collections are calculated separately and do not impact each other. After getting a star collection, the corresponding chances will then reset. Each account can receive a maximum of 10 Autumn and 2 Twilight. The number of star collection granted through Aurora Treasure is limited and available while stocks uh, last. Cosmetic return, limited edition cosmetics in limited time event uh, from the 31st to December 5th. So you have quite a while. Specific cosmetics from the Righteous Season are now available with 50% off which are Zai legendary outfit um creatures myth deity of water valda's legendary pearled maiden and targa's pose advance and other gorgeous cosmetics away woo, 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 woo. new events phantom brave <laughs> Um, we've got open stashes in the survival mode to participate in the showdown uh, or hungry dragons to join in the dance parties into the Fairland Panglide to earn spooky hats. You can collect up to 40 um, spooky hats from matches and 30 spooky hats from dance parties every day. For more details about the sp uh, getting spooky hats, visit the so get spooky hats on the event page. <laughs> the dance parties are held at the Panglide Pantheon Music Zone to join in the dance, dance to the beat in the dance area and you will get spooky hats um any participants can play their favorite songs at the music zone to become a dj once a dj has been chosen a dance via the radio menu other players can join and get spooky hats as well Ooh, i love the halloween stuff that's pretty exciting players will receive invitations each day specifying the dress code those who wear cosmetics matching the dress code will get extra spooky hats in this case a code matching participants get spooky hat 10 total a uh, total totally while a code matching dj gets uh spooky hat 17 okay interact with the trick or treat pumpkin carriage on the event page to obtain magic candies each interaction costs a uh, spooky hat four times four and grants magic candies times one magic candies can be used to redeem four event rewards after the event ends expired spooky hats will be disposed into tay then we have the ever glowing aurora i'm super tongue-tied today i apologize um, complete daily quest to obtain Syra trial vouchers and golden twigs. Complete uh, event quest to obtain the golden uh, twigs and um, consume golden twigs to redeem rewards. And a Halloween sale. Whoop, 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 whoop. We love those sales given to us during the event. Four kinds of vouchers are claimable in the events, which is the legendary outfit, weapon, accessory, and item for 30% off. Um, two of each. Use a voucher when purchasing the corresponding legendary cosmetics with gold and you get the 30% off and the discounts cannot be applied when purchasing gift for friends. Uh, please note that the vouchers are only elig eligible for the legendary cosmetics from season 10, pioneer season, and previous season. So some older cosmetics and vouchers are valid for a limited time only. So make sure you use them before they expire. Bada bing, bada boom. Fairland Penglai adjustment. So we got grab some friends and stack on each other in the Penglai for stack up high. Approach other players to interact with them and lift each other up, forming a tower. The players that started the interaction, the tower are a leader and controls its movement. This is only available in certain zones, so this will be a different stacking and I have a maximum of eight players so instead of jumping we have a different length maybe balancing thing that's gonna be interesting we're definitely gonna have to go and check that out Fairland Panglide brand new gameplay the music zone enter the music zone join the party become a DJ and dance to your heart's content you can play music in the music zone to become a DJ after a DJ uses the radio menu to choose certain dances other players can join the lights will change according to the trend points send gifts and call your friends over to join the dance party let's all throw down together friendly reminder adjust your sound settings and all of that we have a new function lobby music section open the lobby music page via the button in the top right corner of the lobby to select music and set the playback mode for playstation the next challenge for them for sky high racing number eight is now open compete against players worldwide and ascend the ranking all right playstation tournaments number 11 will be opening with the patch um launch and be open till december 4th compete to earn all of your medals and rewards you guys can see the dates and the times for your corresponding time zones and uh servers cure adjustments Wu Chen increase the damage dealt by the medium-sized spirit blades generated by the ultimate tai chi teleport blade storm from 0.25 
to 0.3 and reduce the knockback distance to enemies. Increase the damage dealt by the large spirit blades from 1.8 to 2.1 and change the hit effect from knocking enemies airborne to knocking them back. Slightly de reduce the teleport recovery frames for the skill spirit blade swap and slightly extended the duration of gold focus when teleporting. So Wu Chang getting a buff! In game adjustments, we have featured optimizations for Spirit Well in Immortal War. Players can now view the highest capture progress of Spirit Well while within a certain range of that well. Hero Alliance adjustments reduce the Dark Tide coins required to start an alliance from 7,500 to 2,500 and shorten the alliance close time from. Um, 1,490 seconds to 490 seconds. The Alliance will now close 10 seconds after the first Shadow Corruption spread ends. When the Alliance closes, players still in an Alliance will receive a refund of the Dark Tag coins used to start it. All right. Out of game adjustments, Hair Dying System! New mode highlights! Ooh, yes! Okay, out of the new uh, uh, Hair Dying method, highlights 24 color colorium coloriums are required to unlock highlights which can be applied to any hairstyle with the highlight prefix while applying highlights players can customize the hair color separately from the parts to be dyed flourish and gradient can also be applied to these parts a cream dye creams are required to dye hair using highlights in hair dyeing seven flourish colors have been newly added pearlescent color aqua purple cowrie matte colors uh oriole ember fall waves starlight and green <laughs> just green green <laughs> showdown adjustments dear lord in heaven i need a sip of my drink to continue through this dear god all right upgraded the effects for elemental melee soul jade attacks now deal elemental damage corresponding to the elemental attribute of the soul jade for example velocity untold ice wielding thunder wielding has been changed to velocity untold element if untold element has the elemental attribute ice wielding plus one none checks charge horizontal strike will deal frostbite if it has a poison plus one the strikes will have a toxin um thunder wielding thunder damage can you have like it be ice one thunder two <laughs> do you have both i'm curious the changes involve horizontal blink vertical blink horizontal energy vertical energy uppercut rush abyssal aurora assassin's lunge windy trinity wild windspout storm slash aerial run wave breaker torrent flow jabbing onslaught cavalry bloom pedal fl <laughs> fall flurry crescent slam crescent slam uh, both of those erudition velocity untold and cyan fang Woo! all of the above Added the element melee soul jades chain sweeping element and serpents whisper element added the poison wielding ranged soul jades toxic cannon toxic arrow toxic explosion shot and swarm change the soul jade uh rock fall slash thunder wielding to aerial rend element changed the soul jade venom tip to toxic crossbow and added it back to the game optimize the description of soul jade's thunder shot and thunder detonation without altering their actual effects optimize the special effect triggered when hit by the soul jade thunder detonation for combat in showdown optimize collision issues that occurred after defeating ominous beast fix the issue where spear counter strikes sometimes cannot hit large enemies optimize the finishing motion for some of the stone monsters attack moves <sighs> <laughs> Um, Nerides Ruin adjustment added the Anima Ring, Armor Recovery, Vanquisher, Calamity, Fortitude, Charge, Power Strike, Charge, Aegis Break, and Might Restraint, and Might Diffuse. Hero adjustments. Matari's Diffuse Martial Skill, Soul Break, Tusk can now use Airborne Quick Dash during the special technique, Diffuse Dash. Extended Matari's Invulnerability Time upon successful using um, Diffuse, Matari now gains Gold Focus for the duration of the move and can use Airborne Quick Dash again after a successful diffuse feature adjustments for showdown added the new feature upgrade sense level the function upgrade sense level can be accessed uh on the equipped soul jade page selected upgrade materials will be used to upgrade the six equipped soul jade simultaneously according to the optimal solution 
Adjusted weekly quest added a new weekly quest that can be completed by clearing 12 random so uh, showdown stages. Completing the quest grants a reward of 15 soul jades uh, fragments. Added descriptions for the drops in uh, Enigma Domain and Nerity's Ruins. Um, Enigma Domain yields more soul jades while Nerity Ruin provides more carved crystals. Existing rules have been elaborated on for clarity, but no adjustments have been made to the actual yields for the dev notes of why this is. Our data shows that some players have experienced carved crystal overflow, so we have increased the yield of soul jade fragments in the weekly quest. Players can manage their fatigue stra strategically to balance the quantities of both items. Optimize the display of remaining rebirth attempts in showdown and, and disable the environmental kill mechanism after defeating Omni's core in buried giant. Woo! Two store updates. We got a new Syra exclusive pack. Um, with all the light bearer stuff as she comes into the game and has a legendary outfit. We also added a hottie exclusive pack, which is called Wing Soul, which contains hottie accessory, um, which unlocks to change the appearance of hottie's ultimate aerial ascent and aerial ascent blaze. And he's got an uh, accessory to change the appearance of hottie skill mechanical arm blast and ultimate aerial ascent, which is crazy. So uh, for the changing his um, skill, and his ultimate he has stuff for so you guys can check that out that's a big change and an exclusive pack called abyssal rule which contains outfit um dagger skin accessory hairstyle all of that and it's on sale for now we've got limited time offering legendary grappling hook the girl in the box um we also have a uh, newly added legendary emote nice try for all heroes we have syra pose legendary item dark halloween makeup pack we've got syra legendary background legendary base legendary rescue effect day glow for everybody hottie legendary background hottie legendary base justina epic pose zipping hairstyle zipping accessory justina hairstyle fairy uh, hairstyle tian hai hairstyle epic hill announcement um called a uh, stringed sword tian hai pose justina background fairy a background and tian hai background and last but not least we have new items in the spectral silk store newly added aurora treasure for the price of 3600 spectral silk and you can get one per 24 hours for up to six for each player newly added cyro legendary accessory radiant moon for 12,000 silk and that is <laughs> that is the patch notes for Halloween 2024. What are you guys most excited for? Are you excited for the new um, brand new character Syra? Are you excited for the Halloween um, game mode for the Halloween event for new cosmetics? Like, let me know down below what you're most excited for, and make sure you check out the Twitch to see all of the fun gameplay and things we're up to as well as subscribe if you want to see more naraka and other gameplay content i will see you guys in the next video bye